In this video, we're going to focus on dimensional analysis, how to convert from one unit into another. So let's start with this problem. How many seconds are there in a year? So how do we do this? Well, it's always good to start with what you're given. In this case, one year. Now, what we want to do is we want to convert years into days and then days into hours, hours into minutes, and then minutes into seconds. So how many days are there in a year? Well, one year contains 365 days. Now we're not going to take a leap here into account. So it's about 365. One could say it's 365.25, but we'll keep it at 365 just to keep things simple. Now, how many hours are in a single day? One day contains 24 hours. So notice the way that I'm setting up the problem. I'm setting up the units in such a way that they cancel. In the end, the only unit that I want left over is the unit seconds. Now we need to convert hours into minutes. So we know that there's 60 minutes in one hour. So we could put one hour on the bottom, 60 minutes on top. Finally, we need to convert minutes to seconds. One minute contains 60 seconds. So now we could cancel the unit hours and we could cancel the unit minutes. Now let's do the math. So we're going to multiply by all the numbers on top. It's going to be 1 times 365 times 24 times 60 times 60. So the answer is pretty big. It's 31,536,000 seconds. So that's how many seconds are in a year. Now let's work on this problem. Convert 30 feet per second into miles per hour. So let's start with what we're given. That is 30 feet per second. So that's the speed. Now we need to convert to miles per hour. So we need to convert feet into miles and then eventually seconds into hours, which we know how to do. You need to know that one mile is equal to 5,280 feet. So we could put 5,280 feet on the bottom and then one mile on top. So we could cancel the unit feet. And so we have the first part of our answer, miles. Now the last thing we need to do is convert seconds into hours. Now we know that there's 60 seconds in a minute. So because we have the unit seconds on the bottom here, we're gonna put 60 seconds on top so that those two units cancel. And we're going to put one minute on the bottom. Now the last thing we need to do is convert minutes to hours. So since we have minutes on the bottom, we're going to put on the top. There's 60 minutes in one hour. So now we have our answer in miles per hour. So it's going to be 30 divided by 5280. We're dividing by this number because it's on the bottom. And then we're going to multiply by the numbers on top. So times 60 times 60. So it's going to be 20.45 miles per hour. So that's how you can convert feet per second into miles per hour using dimensional analysis. Here's another problem. The ratio of boys to girls in a certain classroom is 4 to 5. If there are 36 boys, how many girls are there in this class? So what do you think we need to do in this problem? Well, we could get the answer simply by conversion. Let's start with what we're given. We know that there's 36 boys in the classroom. Our conversion factor is the ratio of boys to girls. So for every four boys in this classroom, we could say that there's five girls. And we could use that 
to convert from boys to girls in the next fraction. So we're going to put this on the bottom. And the other part of the conversion factor, we're going to put it on top. So if we set up the problem in this manner, we can get the number of girls in this classroom. So it's going to be 36 divided by 4, which is 9, times 5, and so that's 45. So there are 45 girls in this classroom. So dimensional analysis is very useful for solving problems, such as ratio problems, conversion problems. There's a lot of things you can do with it if you understand it.